Warning, you are about to enter the BGP suite. No thongs, no boy shorts, no thigh highs, no commandos are permissible. BGP, big girl panties only. So pull up to woman up. And no, please don't leave with your panties in a bunch. Welcome, welcome, welcome. Welcome to BGP. My name is Adrian, and we're so glad to have you today. First of all, before we get started, please don't forget to like, share, subscribe, and please comment. We definitely um, hope that you comment, good or bad. We appreciate the feedback, and it helps us with our topics. And even you can suggest topics as well if you like. Today's topic is about double standards, mm. double standards mm. and um, in dating, in relationships, in a lot of areas, there are double standards. Um, for instance, I am currently out there dating again. I'm single uh, and I have found that there is some discrepancy in what's acceptable for me. Mm -hmm. And what's acceptable for the next person. Mm -hmm. For instance, um, I see that a lot of guys, when they're dating, they can juggle and shuffle women. Mm -hmm. um, but it's frowned upon if I do that. Say, for instance, and we talked about this when we talked about... Um, the gender wars. The gender wars, exactly. And gender wars, how you know that you have, um, you, when you're dating and courting, and you guys brought that to my attention, that there is a difference in mm -hmm. dating and courting. So I, I took that into consideration in dating. You know, I'm getting to know these different gentlemen, and I juggle a few here and there. I may have a friend. They're all my friends. Mm -hmm. They're just my friends. Um, there's not a lot of uh, sexual uh, encounters. <laughs> yeah, yeah. No, no, it's not, that's it's how not. You, yeah. <laughs> you sleep with a few okay. of them. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> not a lot of sexual encounters. Um, I usually leave that just to one if I am being intimate um, for safety reasons. But um, what I've noticed is for me to juggle a lot of, well, I don't say a lot, maybe four to five, mm -hmm. that that's frowned upon. It makes it seem as though I'm a bit whorish. Define juggle. Yeah, that's what I was Okay, say. juggle. <laughs> juggle would mean, like, for instance, I talk to maybe three or four guys. We may go out. We may hang out. We may do some things together. But um, we all know that there's no relationship. We're just friends. You do know that? I. They know we're just friends. I mean, we may be. Do they know that? They know. Yeah, I make it very clear that I just got out of a situation. Okay. You know, that's like the first thing you say. Okay. I just got out of a situation. I just want to um, get to know people, just have fun. To be real honest, I had uh, thought I threw away my little player card, but I thought I was going to bring that back out when I became single. But I'm, I'm realizing that I do at some point want a, a relationship again. You know, maybe not a not marriage per mm -hmm. se, but, um, definitely somebody that's just for me and, uh, you know, like, a that type of thing. But in the meantime, I'm getting to know people. Um, but I noticed that when it's a guy that does that thing and he's, he has multiple women that he sees, it's a notch in his belt. And for me, it seems to be an issue. Like why you gotta, and we're not even in a relationship, but we could be rolling in the car and my phone will flash up on it. I forgot to turn the Bluetooth off and, and, and a dude's name will come up and, I get the look like, who is that? Mm -hmm. You know? So my question to you is if you are dating, is there a problem with you having multiple people that you date? And if so, what are some problems that can come about from that? Ooh, you know, okay. So yesterday I went on my little hike with my guy friend um, and he brought that up because he watched our show. Uh huh. And that discussion was, you know, was said where we should, you know, he mentioned Mona when he, where a comment was made 
about uh, us entertaining multiple men until we decide to, you know, be exclusive in a relationship. Mm -hmm. And he said, as a man, we don't like that. Mm -hmm. We don't want to hear that the woman that we're talking to is dating multiple men. We want to be the only guy that you're talking to. Mm. So for me, I say, if you are single and you are dating, solely dating, not having sex with these men, but solely dating to get to know and see where things go, I see nothing wrong with that. Now, if you having sex, if you're leading the person to believe that they have a shot with you to be more than just casually dating, then I can see how the confusion can come about and that can be a problem. But just solely dating to have a good time, I personally see nothing wrong with that. Mm -hmm. Right, as long as it doesn't turn into a sexual yes. thing. What about you, Mona? I have a question about this juggling situation. Mm. <laughs> are we gold digging juggling? I, or are, hold on, <laughs> let me answer my question, which is uh, guilty already. <laughs> <laughs> Because it's a valid question. Are we uh, working out juggling? Are we meeting at a coffee shop for $5? Um, um, what do you call it? Uh, splitting the tab? 50, 50. Going Dutch? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Are we, um, you know, uh, ha being in a park? What are What is juggling? Are he paying for everything? What, 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 what juggling is it? Because one way... It's fine, mm -hmm. but the other way, oh, I'm just juggling. Oh, I don't really want to be in a relationship, but he didn't buy you four drinks. Mm -hmm. I see what you mean. He didn't spend some money at uh, at the restaurant on you. Yeah. You know, he didn't took you shopping. So wh what kind of juggling are you talking about here? Now, what I mean, and I'm, this is honestly, I it's strictly just dating, um, going out. I have paid sometimes. They have paid sometimes. Mm -hmm. Um, Valentine's Day came around. We exchanged like little gifts, not nothing major. Mm -hmm. You know, everybody just, just, just and you exchange to know gifts with all your Valentines, or just one. You just have one Valentine because you're because you're juggling. Yeah, yeah, um, yeah. Well, so the other dude <laughs> <laughs> ask that question again because okay. uh, the way that face okay. just looked. Um. Oh uh, yeah, uh, yeah, yeah. Well, Did all the dudes um, give Valentines or this? Yeah, is everybody it? gave a little gift. Everybody all got a little of gift. Your dudes exchange well and i don't want to say oh, look at it she's okay. like mm. god i hate when i use myself as an example sometimes <laughs> no, but let's just, let's, let's, let's general let's general just generalize speaking, if you so are you're dating, juggling mm -hmm. you have multiple men it's valentine's day do all four of them get a valentine's or just one yeah mm -hmm. that everybody yeah. gets like a uh, <laughs> Everybody gets a, a like a little a card maybe mm -hmm. a call Happy Valentine's Day um you know yeah everybody because gets the reason why I'm asking is because once you um uh, signal out just one person or you identify just one person and he gets all the perks why are you juggling you're not juggling anymore you're playing games yeah, yeah. I see what you mean you and I definitely saying? don't want to be in the the game plan because yeah. I know that feeling but um I just thought it was appropriate to to date multiples and this I learned from my sisters because when we had our conversation you guys said that when you're dating mm -hmm. you're actually just you can have like you said collecting you, data you, yeah you collect the information yeah. you're analyzing you're deciding whether or not this person is, is for you yeah and then you just drop them off um you know those that don't <laughs> I don't want to say drop, drop off, off. <laughs> but kind of like okay this isn't working. not a good fit yeah this and then you narrow it down mm -hmm. to maybe a couple and mm -hmm. then you narrow it down to one uh, yes, clearly, I do find that I am more compatible with one more uh, more so than some of the others. So why but, are you allowing them to h hang on? Um, because we're still just all just having a just dating. You're not exclusive. We're, you're not, we're not exclusive. Okay, that's that's more less the word. So how so, do you get exclusive when you're still hanging on to the other ones that you're not feeling so much? Well, I think as you drop those other people <laughs> off, then you it, it kind of narrows it down. To just a, a, a but maybe a couple. Is that not giving somebody false hope? No, I th honestly, I, I think during this type of dating situation, you constantly let the person know where you stand and where you are with it. Um, I'm still not at that point. There's a there's a pace. 
if you will. Um, and, and I think for me, I constantly let a person know, I, you know, I got out of something a long time ago. I'm just pacing and I'm healing and I'm doing these things. And I'm enjoying your company. You're really right. a nice guy. Right. But it's 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 a pace where and, and the reason why we're talking about double standards is because I just noticed that I don't have to go into men don't have to go into all that explanation as to why they do what they do, nope. that they have this chick and that chick and this chick and that chick. Yes, they do. They lie. When they run across it. a woman. Yeah. Yes, they do. Mm-hmm. Okay. Here's the thing about juggling that I think that it could be kind of dangerous. Mm-hmm. Because like Nisha said, they don't like that. Mm-hmm. And you're being very cocky when you say, oh, I'm seeing multiple niggas. <laughs> you yeah. ain't the only one. Yeah. Dude, yeah. <laughs> it's more where you came from. <laughs> yeah. I think it, 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 and it messes with a man's ego. And, and, and two, I don't think a man would think that you were even trying to be serious if you were going to state that you are juggling. Okay. Maybe that's Hold. not the word. I should no, just... but we're we're going off <laughs> yeah, of what you said, right? But here's the thing, um, and y'all done made me lose my damn train of thought. <laughs> talking. Um, now let's do you necessarily trouble. have to go on dates to get to know a person? What about get just to know a person on the phone? Because I think when a person starts spending their money, they accept they expect certain things. So why are we even going out with them? Why are we just having conversations? When we feel like having conversations. Well, conversation is good, but I, I sometimes need to see a person interact. I need but, to see their... Okay. Mm-hmm. But I'm saying, you ain't even feeling this dude right now on, on pure conversation over the phone. Why then institute a date that costs money? True. That's where the mixed signals might come in. Mm-hmm. Yes. Especially right. if they're spending a lot of money, because he mm-hmm. did mention that yesterday. And I was like, I agree. That's why for me, I'm like, when I'm initially getting to know someone, I don't expect you to spend two, five, a thousand dollars on me just to get to know me. Mm-hmm. We can go walk. We can go meet up at the beach and walk and mm-hmm. talk. We can go hiking, which we have. We can, we can, you know, we we can meet up at a coffee shop. Like it's not, you don't have to go broke because if there's no chemistry, I don't want you to ever throw in my face. Bitch, I spent five hundred dollars on you on that meal, <laughs> yes. and you knew your ass didn't like me. You right. knew that, right? Fuck right. you, right. right? So I, I never want that to be the case for me. Um, so you, you, you know, you don't have to do that. But I agree with you also, though. That having a conversation on the phone is one thing. That is the initial way to get to mm-hmm. know someone. Mm-hmm. I agree, but it's the actual physical meetup that determines where else we're going to go with this because if we only talk on the phone but never really see each other in person I, I still won't really know if there's chemistry because you can have bomb conversations and then meet in person and realize oh shit mm-hmm. there's no chemistry right like we we're not a good fit exactly okay I, i'm going to agree uh um you cannot have bomb conversations and see them, and they might be fine as hell. Then that's gonna sway you into thinking. Mm. You, you know what I'm saying? I'm yeah. just, that's true. <laughs> I, he's fine, but he dumb as hell. He dumb as a box of rocks. Yeah. So I'm saying, you know, to waste other people's time and your own time. If the conversation is not going anywhere, next. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Um, men get very violent when they think they are being led on. They don't want to be tricked. Mm-hmm. And you can find yourself in some tricky situations and get yourself tore up because you playing with somebody and you 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 may have good intentions, mm-hmm. but see sometimes it's a gimmick to say, "Oh, you know, I just got out of a relationship and I'm trying to take it slow while you're being wined and dined and gifted and and praised upon and and she's telling you how beautiful you are." You wasting this goddamn time. Mhm. Mhm. Okay. I, I get and your also, point. And also, also, I mean, I've been told recently in a conversation too that when we tell men we're dating multiple people, a lot of men automatically put you in the friend zone. Mhm. Mm-hmm. They automatically be like, er, "That's it for that one." And, and they automatically think you sleeping with all of them. Yes. You you lying. Yes. Yeah. You're not just sleeping with one. Yes. You just not yeah. trying to sleep. You sleeping with all of them. Yeah. Because a woman would not fix her in the mouth to say, I I'm have dating multiple, multiple yeah. dudes. And, and that's the thing. I don't think it's necessary to say that. But if they identify that you talk to different people. That's not why in their is business. That, right. Exactly. No answer. But their assumption is, like you said, that you must, oh, you 
you messing with that dude and that dude and that dude. Like you said, it's none of their business. If somebody's name comes up on my phone or whatever, why are you all up in my phone? <laughs> we, we are just dating. We are just getting to know one another. It, Some of that stuff is not your business. But if the shoe were on the other foot. You can't say nothing. Oh, you better not say a word. So that's why we have to, let's play grown up, shall we? Yes, exactly. You in your car. This your phone. Mm-hmm. You pay the bill loan. The name pop up. He can high, huff and puff, blow the house down. You don't have to answer that. Yeah. What's your body count? You don't have That's to not answer business. things no that is they're going to hold it against you. Mm-hmm. You don't have to answer that. Mm-hmm. I don't do it to you. That's that's setting some more boundaries. Right. I don't do it to you. You don't do it uh, to me. But I think uh, juggling is 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 kind of dangerous mm-hmm. for women. I, yes. Yeah. Yeah. It is to answer your and to answer your your actual title. Mm-hmm. There is a double standard, mm-hmm. and I don't ever see it changing. There is a double standard. There are things men can do that women cannot. We have to be more strategic. Yes, in the way we go about things. Right. Too. <laughs> it makes me think about even if like you're an aggressive woman. Mm. Aggressive men is 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 kind of okay, but if you're an aggressive woman, you say, "Come over here and give me some of that dick." Or you say, you know, like you're like the the initiator of some stuff. Mm-hmm. They look at you like, "Dang, she a freak," or she, oh, she is scary. It, it scares some guys if you are an aggressor in in when it comes to being intimate. Um, why do you think that is? I think it depends on the men because, like, I'll speak for me. I tend to attract alpha men and mm-hmm. they like that but they also like their women submissive too mm-hmm. right but then you have the beta males that are used to women being the aggressor right they're used to being they're used to women being the dominant one in the relationship and they accept that they mm-hmm. don't get they don't get scared of it but at the same time it's just kind of like they just you mm-hmm. know go with it just cower in whereas an alpha male be like no you come over here and give me some blah, blah, blah. Right, blah, right, blah, right, right, right. And so it, it, it depends on the man, I, I would say. But I think it goes a, a little bit further than, than alpha versus beta. Mm-hmm. I think that men want to look at us as being versions. Although we mm-hmm. may be 60, you still think I ain't slept with nobody? <laughs> you still think that I'm supposed to be your first. You're my first. Mm-hmm. Men have that kind of mindset and they don't want, that's why they ask you what your body count is. Mm-hmm. They don't want to think that somebody else's penis is greater than theirs. Mm. They don't want to think that they're not the only one that's going to give you satisfaction. Mm-hmm. That. That's how they lose their mind when, when 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 we were just talking about cheating on the on the last mm-hmm. broadcast. Um, men, like Nisha say, some men like aggressive women. Right. Mm-hmm. There are men that do complain about. You don't initiate. Pull yes. my drawers down. Exactly. Right. You gotta initiate. Who is, like, you know, right, right. jump on me sometimes. Yeah. And I think how you handle that is you, in the initial stages of getting to know somebody, that you actually. Ask the questions. Do you like passive women? Do you like aggressive women? Right. Do you like women that initiate sometimes? Do you like toxic women? Do you want... <laughs> <Just do it. laughs> right. Yeah, now, you're playing, but it's women out there that <laughs> brag about being toxic and men like it. <laughs> we was talking about Cardi B's song. Yes. Uh-huh. Said, I, I, I talk crazy to them because they like that toxic. Yes, they yes, like the toxic women. Mm-hmm. And they do. do. And they stay. Yes. Yep, so, like yeah, to, to, to... And it's really not, sometimes it's not even really being an aggressive woman. It's just that you're trying to sh- show some affection and mm-hmm. and they take it the wrong way. And, you know, so just talking about that, different yeah. strokes for different folks. Agreed. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Communication. And then I also noticed, like, with fitness, like, for us, we got to be wearing spanks and girdles and pushing <laughs> titties up. But if they get a little beer belly and booty be sticking out as far as they gut do, it's okay. It's like, it, it's okay. But let us get all out of shape and looking crazy. Then there's this, um, you got to worry about them cheating. And they can be fat and unattractive, ugly. But we got to worry about that. It just seems like it's so much pressure on us to always do the right thing. And what is the right thing? You know what I'm saying? So in this fitness thing, haven't you come across, and and I I don't mind a little chubby guy every once in a while, but the expectations for me to stay fit and look like 
some of the when things you first that they, met. Yeah, yeah. Okay. that's important. And See, it just seems so unfair. Again, that goes back to that double standard. Yep, but I'm, I'm going to go back to the question that was asked in our previous episode mm-hmm. from Mona Lachey when she said, what is, what's the expectations for men, right? Mm-hmm. And we both were like, huh? I know, and, right? right? <laughs> and then I was like, oh, the providers, protectors, hunters. Hunters. They are hunters. hunters. So when you look at that, when you like focus on the animal kingdom and they're going for their conquests, they want the best. They don't go for the little easily little weak little prey. They want the best. So if when they're going for you, they expect you to be quote unquote a ten, right? right? And if you go from a ten and work your way all the way down to a two, they gonna say something. They gonna start looking elsewhere at other conquests that are a Mona Lachey, are exactly. a Adrian, right. or a Nisha, right? Right. They right. gonna they gonna start looking elsewhere. Is it right? No, nah, because for women, we're taught to be loyal mm-hmm. to our provider, protector, hunter, the man in our life. We're taught to be loyal and and deal with that person as is. Right. Right. As is, regardless mm-hmm. of how they fall off or get. Yeah. Yeah. But I know. men, on the other hand, mm-hmm. they're not. Right. Just yeah. my opinion. Yeah. Feel I would free say, to disagree. I would say males and females have certain expectations. Males and females want to have bragging rights. Mm-hmm. He can't brag on me if I'm a 600-pound woman. Oh, hell. <laughs> <laughs> you can't brag on him if he, you know, uh, weighs 600 pounds. We want bragging rights. And like Nisha said, he can't brag unless he's bragging about the best. Right. right. We're going to have to continue this situation because right. yes. it looks like we've run out of a little bit of time. <laughs> yes. Um, we're going to do a part two, Adrian. Okay. Yes. So Very get good. the rest of your questions together. I sure will. We, we, we're going to go in deep with it. Deep Definitely. Deep. Okay. Close There's levels. Out. Okay. In closing, again, I think we just need to know, um, know our worth. Stay firm on what you um, want. Uh, and when you don't get it, be okay with moving on. Mm-hmm. I agree. I definitely <laughs> agree. BGP, we out. out. We out. We'll be back with part two. We'll be back with part two.